Kia ora everybody. Today we're going to have a quick look at sampling variability. Now sampling variability is needed to get a merit inside of your simulations assessment and it's also if you go deeper into it you can go for an excellence with sampling variability. This concept is all throughout statistics and it's actually all throughout your life so maybe understanding the concept will be really useful for you. So what I did to find this was I went to the simulation workbook and I just went control F or command F and typed in sampling variation or sampling variability and you will see this page. It says the variation in a sample statistic from sample to sample or in our case the variation in a sample statistic from simulation to simulation. So we've pretty much got to unpack what a sample is. Remember that we do a certain amount of trials in our simulation. And I'm just going to go to someone's practice assessment right here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. So remember when we did our simulation, we looked at 12, sorry, 15 different trials of 12 weeks a piece. So this is our first trial and they got the knife block. Second trial, they got the knife block. No, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no, no. So we did 15 trials and that is what we could call our sample. Now, the result of this is that there were seven people that got the knife block and there was 15 trials overall. I'm going to fix this for that student. Right, they wrote this, seven out of 15 and they got 0.46. So the probability of getting all four knives and the knife block ended up being 0.46. I'm going to make a note of that. So down here, I'm going to put at 0.46. This is the result that that test got, or that series of 15 trials in a simulation found that the probability of getting a knife block was 0.46. The problem is when somebody else has a sample, so I'm just going to pick someone from my class. I really don't want to embarrass anyone, so I want to, I'm pretty sure Brady's done it. She hasn't been in class, so if it's missing, it's not her fault. Yeah, she's been away. Dang it. My bad, my bad. I'm not trying to target anyone here. Yeah, Evan's got this. Okay, so Evan did his, and he did 10 trials, so he did a sample of 10. And he found that three out of those 10 got all four knives. So we got it in the second trial, the third trial, and the eighth trial. So for Evan, he found that it was a probability of 0.3. So this is the probability that Evan found. Let's get someone else from my class. I feel like I should start um, getting people from other classes as well. By the way, if anyone doesn't have their work, it's totally because they weren't here. They weren't at school. So I don't want to do this to embarrass anyone. I just want to show you an example. So here, when we're looking at Jacqueline's work, she went through and counted, and she found that the peop there were 15 people out of her 30 that got all four knife blocks. So that means 15 out of 30 Let's do that quickly on our calculator. So we're going to go 15 out of 30. That's a fraction. Then I'm going to click fraction to decimal. So it's 0 0.5. So I'm going to mark that. There's another sample. She got 0 0.5 people getting the knife block. Let's have a look at someone else's simulation. Maybe we will go to... Ooh. Lucy, let's see if Lucy has some results for us. Okay, she did a sample of 10 and she got four people getting all of the knife blocks. The one thing that I want you guys to notice is that no one is actually getting the exact same result. They could get the same result, but the thing is we are only doing small samples and the thing is there is variation from sample to sample. Because we're doing random numbers, these numbers can vary. There are 12 weeks overall, so it, it's pushing towards a certain number in this area. But each time we take a sample, there's going to be slight variation from the true probability, which we don't really know yet. All we know is that the true probability 
is probably somewhere in this region. The true probability might be something like 0 0.4. It could be 0 0.25 for all we know. Um, let's go for one more. Uh, 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 who is in my class that does their work? Yeah. What do you got for us? So, yeah, Rhea's doing hers on an iPad. It's pretty rough. Let's see what Sook's got. So, we can see here that Sook has a... She's done 20 trials overall. And she has... 13 of those got a knife block out of her 20 trials. So let's do that quickly here. You could, another way you can do this even quicker is you just go 13 divided by 20. So 0 0.65 of those people managed to get a knife block. So what color have I not used yet? I guess black's the only one. 0 0.65. See how it's all the way up here. So what we're actually seeing is proof that there is sampling variation. Maybe if we were taking samples with 100 trials, which would take ages, maybe it would be closer to the true probability, but there is variation. That's what we're seeing. So let's go back to the workbook and have a read. So if we run our simulation and we're getting a sample statistic and our one is the probability, we can run another simulation of the same size from the same population and it's almost certain that the sample statistic or mean from this simulation will be different from that calculated from the first simulation. As we saw, we looked at five of them and they were all completely different. If further sample means are calculated by running it over and over again from the same size, the differences in these will show us sampling variation. So this is the statement that you are going to be writing. Let's have a look. If I ran another simulation, I would have different data values as I would generate different random numbers on Google Sheets. However, I would expect the estimates of the chance of having all four knives and therefore the knife block would be similar to what I got in my simulation. So let's look back at this again. We're going to go with black. That probably we expect to see some numbers inside this range. So I'm sure you guys all got different results. And that's because we have small sizes of trials. And there is just variation that happens from the random element. So that is sampling variation.